Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today video, we are going to discuss about Terraform. So, what's the what is Terraform? What's the purpose of Terraform, and why we should use Terraform? So, let's start. What is Terraform? So, HashiCorp Terraform is an infrastructure as code tool that lets you define both cloud and on-premise resources in human-readable configuration file that you can version, reuse, and share. So, basically. HashiCorp is a software company which provides a tool called Terraform. And the use of Terraform is you can manage or provision your complete infrastructure as a code. Like in a simple, in a, one of the file, basically you can write your complete infra infrastructure. And this particular tool, Terraform, you can use for your cloud resources or your on-premise resources. As per your need, you can use it. IT professionals use Terraform high-level configuration language to describe the infrastructure in human-readable declarative configuration file. So basically, whenever you write any con any configuration file for Terraform, uh, you should use, uh, use basically a high-level configuration language, which we call SCL language. So in, in this particular language is used to write the configuration for your infra infrastructure. Terraform lets you create a blueprint, a template that you can version, share and reuse. So basically with the help of Terraform, there are multiple uh, many things like modules, etc, variable files we will see in coming video. So basically what you can do, you can create a blueprint or a template and which you can reuse it for to create a multiple uh, resources in your infrastructure. You can then use a consistent work workflow to provision and manage all of your inf infrastructure throughout its life cycle. So basically there is a Terraform basically it's follow a one of the workflow which you have to follow. So with the help of that workflow you can completely manage or provision your uh, entire life cycle of your application of your, or your resources. So how does Terraform work? So the core Terraform workflow consists of three stages. Right? plan and apply. So right in the first step in the Terraform workflow, you will declare your infrastructure resources as code using the SCL language. So first basically with the help of SCL language, you will write your complete infrastructure as a code. Second step plan. So Terraform creates an execution plan describing the infrastructure it will create, update or destroy based on the existing infrastructure and your configuration. So whatever the configuration you are going to write in this particular phase, so based on that it will plan like what all the things it will create or it will destroy based on your configuration which you have defined in this particular plan which is called write. Finally we have apply. So finally, you can accept plan changes to add or remove any infrastructure resources. Your infrastructure will then be ready to be fully deployed with the help of Terraform. So as soon as uh, you, come, you run the Terraform plan, so it it will it will basically what would, what it does basically. So Terraform plan will give you a complete list what all the things it's going to perform. And when you click on when you do Terraform apply, so basically it, it accept your plans what you have described here and it will create the resources as per your uh, configuration which you have defined in the right phase. So if you see here Terraform workflow, so Terraform project, so these are the Terraform files basically, configuration files, Terraform state files. We will see about, uh, about those files in coming videos in uh, details. So write basically uh, define infrastructure in configuration file. So this particular configuration file, you are defining the resources like you have to create a virtual EC2 instance on AWS or a virtual machine in Azure cloud. So those resources you will define in this particular uh, configuration file. And plan, review the changes Terraform will make to your infrastructure. So basically what does plan do? It will basically validate or review the configuration which you have written in this particular file. At apply basically Terraform provision your infrastructure and update the state files. So as soon as you finally run the Terraform apply, it will create the resources based on the provider which you have chosen. So that's how basically these are three main core uh, stays which uh, Terraform follow. We will see all these things when we do a demo in the coming videos. 
now we know terraform is an open source but apart from open source we also have two more models which is called terraform cloud and terraform enterprise so open source is self managed and it's always free terraform cloud is a managed terraform so basically it's completely managed by terraform you don't have like uh, uh, you, you should you should, like you should not manage anything you just use as a service software as a service and enterprise it's basically a self managed custom deployment so if you want a terraform a setup in your in environment in your organization then in that case you can choose terraform enterprises so if you see that terraform cloud pricing so terraform cloud also provide a free tier then we have team and governance then we have business model so each tier we have different features if you see in free tier we have open source features plus all these three features state management remote operations and private module registry so these three additional features along with what you have in open source you will get it with this terraform cloud free tier next we have terraform team and governance it is starting at $20 per user so everything in free whatever you have here those will be included here and all along with that these additional features will be added on this particular tier so what we will get team management uh, sentinel policy as a code run task and additional concurrency so these features you will get and now the uh, we have third one a business so for this basically you will get everything what you have here here and apart from that you will get some different like sorry additional features also like drift detection sso audit logs self hosted agents and custom concurrency so those all the th uh, things also you will get it if you use business tier so as per your uh, requirement you can choose what tier is suits for you now we will see uh, benefits of infrastructure as a code like basically we are talking about terraform here because uh, terraform is, uh, is infrastructure as a code tool so first we have speed and simplicity so infrastructure as a code eliminates manual process thereby accelerating the delivery and management life cycle infrastructure code makes it possible to spin up an entire infrastructure architecture by simply running a script so if you if you're not following or not doing any manual process and definitely uh, your provisioning or managing will be fast because what you have to do you have to just simply run one command and it will uh, spin up a complete infrastructure for you so you can so basically your speed and simplicity will be uh, high team collaboration various team members can collaborate on infrastructure as a code software in the same way they would with regular application code through like github so basically what this means like for example i have written one of the configurations files and i have checked in the source control now if uh, another users or another uh, colleague wants to do some kind of modifications or maybe some kind of like additional resources he want to add on that particular file then he can also do that because we are uh, storing that particular configuration file in the github so team collaboration uh, benefits you will get it from you with the help of uh, if you are using terraform error reduction so infrastructure as a code minimize the probability of errors or deviation when provisioning your infrastructure so the code completely standardize your setup allowing application to run smoothly and error free without the constant need for admin oversight so basically uh, if you have written the configuration files once and you have uh, validated and you are not doing any manual things so the error reduction error uh, reduction will be less because you have uh, designed that configuration file in particular standardized format next we have disaster recovery with infrastructure as a code you can actually recover from disaster more rapidly because manually constructed infrastructure needs to be manually rebuilt what with infrastructure as a code you can usually just rerun scripts and have the exact same software provisioned again so if you have uh, some attacks or something happen with your uh, environment so what you can do you have to just rerun one command with the help of those files which configurations files which you have wrote and you can uh, 
very quickly you can spin up your uh, infrastructure again like if what if you are doing things manually then it will take definitely long long like long time basically it takes hours or week to spin up a complete new fresh infrastructure so those things will be minimized if you are using uh, infrastructure as a code so thank you so much see you in next video